Hey guys, uh, another update on the priestess. This is the last two, three days of crap I had to deal with in the spirit world. So, after my last video, that night, I lay down and go to bed. JC says... You're going to Japan. I'm like, oh. Now, the priestess is supposed to be in Japan, living there in an apartment. In the illusion. Because she's, and she's getting sentenced. I thought this week. But I haven't heard nothing, so I don't know. Soon. This week coming up. Yeah, that's right. So, I protest to JC with every foul, every foul word I can, till it was borderline abuse, and I quit because <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need it. So what I did was I took all my anger and put it towards releasing the priestess. Now JC says I have to go because she came here. Christ brought her here to me close to me and what he does is he puts her near me and inside me but it's controlled by Christ now what he did he does that she triggers all the links and things that are in me with that she's hanging on to he can then see him he, he brings all them links to the forefront by her being here in me and then he sends her back all the links are exposed, and he starts popping them, cutting them, the, the region priests do. And that's what the region priests do. But he don't realize that the meat bag, me, is going through hell. All right? And I really don't want to deal with it. I, I've had Christ dreams for four months straight. I've been doing, I'm in hell with the priestess. She's fucking addicted to me. And so here's what happened from what I can remember. She or Christ takes me. I don't remember. I was protesting. I was mad. I get in Japan. I guess it was Japan. And uh, so we're in Japan. And this is all on the earth stuff, spiritual, lower astral. I'm in Japan. My kids are saying, my God, is beautiful here. So I'm thinking like Japanese gardens and flowers and streams and orange fish. <laughs> orange goldfish in the, in, the, in the swamp pond. <laughs> you know, all that beautiful stuff. And uh, anyway... I never do see it, but I hear a priestess. She's in my head. She starts barking and yipping. And uh, I just let her talk, really. And then somewhere along the line, I fall asleep for a little bit. Next thing I know, I'm in a dream. Like a long time goes by. I wake up. That's right. I wake up, roll around. Lay back down, bitch a little bit, go to sleep. Again, this time I'm in an apartment building. And this is a dream with priestess. It ain't that great, but whatever. So the priestess in the dream is in a, me and her walking down the street, checking things out. I don't see anything in the dream Japanese related. But... We are in a parking lot outside of a building. We walk in the building, me and her, and we go up a couple upper upper floors in the building. And we're walking in the building, and there's all these people hanging out in, at this at the far end of the building. And at the far end of the building is her apartment, 
but before her apartment is a store built in the wall, and there's just people hanging out buying things at the store. And she goes, you know what, Rich? You can get anything you want right here. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so in this part of the building, on the second floor, second or third floor, is a store. They sell drugs, food, clothes, or they'll get it for you. Which I thought was weird. So it was like each floor had a little store. And uh, there was a guy leaning up against the wall. And uh, there was a guy leaning up against the wall. And I, I, I leaned on the wall, too, next to him. And he looked at me, and I looked at him, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> and he's like, hey. And I wasn't waiting. He was waiting to go to the store. Or he ordered something to go to the, into the store. I was just hanging out waiting. The priestess walks over there. Now, the priestess looks like my ex-girlfriend. So she walks over to the door, opens up, waves me over. So I run over, because I don't know what the hell. She never told me nothing of why I'm here. And then I, all of a sudden, this little guy comes, this little kid, like 12-year-old, 10-year-old kid. And uh, he's running next. He's beside me. And I go in into my girlfriend's apartment, but it's actually Priestess, her apartment. I go into her apartment, and uh, I'm standing there in the living room or the where you watch TV and all that shit. I'm standing there, and then she drops all her clothes, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And she's hot. Like, it's my ex-girlfriend, right? And so my heart's gone. My, my, my uh, juices are flowing. And uh, then she uh, smiles at me and walks down the hallway. And I'm like, oh, and, but no, it was in the bathroom or something. She closed the door. And I'm like, oh, fucking heat. And the little guy goes, she's cute, isn't she? <laughs> and she's smoking hot. And I'm like, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Then I woke up, told JC about the dream, and the kids are all screaming and yelling. Then... I'm back in Japan. So they what they did was they took me from San Lucian to Japan World, stuck me in a controlled Christ place, hooked me up to the priestess, and they were exposing the links. But I had a dream with the priestess, and we both went into the apartment. That's what that happened. So I actually got to see Japan. And not one Chinese person. It was all North American, normal black people, white people. That was it. Then. So Christ is pulling these links out of me for the rest of the night. I wake up again. And I'm in St. Lucia. Then, after that, during that day, yeah, this is what happened. During the day, I noticed my teeth starting to hurt on the bottom jaw. Went all day without doing anything. I, did, I, I you know, you get a lot of pains, right? But by the time the hockey game came on at 7 o'clock, physically, my teeth are hurting. The bottom jaw. Then, by the time the end of the hockey game, my whole fucking mouth is hurting my teeth. And it's the, uh, in your jaw, the, the nerves in your jaw make your teeth hurt. Now, the priestess put a loogie in there when I went to see her. She activated the loogie, started blowing it up in my, in my, in my head. And this one was in my head, so it really hurt. I don't know, I was. By the end of the hockey game, at 11 o'clock, before I went to bed, I was screaming, man. I popped an Advil because I couldn't take the pain. So this is like Loogie 2 in two days. And Christ did it. He screwed up. He made me go see her. But he has to get the links out. I understand. 
But I knew this was going to happen. He said, nah, it ain't. Oh, yeah, it is. It always happens. Now, when I was dealing with Crazy Man, check the playlist for Crazy Man, all 17 of them, Loogie Man, they did, Loogie Man did the same things as the priestess. I'd go see him to separate with, with the Christ, and I'd have a Loogie, a new Loogie. And it's the same thing going on with the priestess. Now, the priestess knew the loogie man because she helped me get through it. But she had sex with him in dreams, whatever, in the dream world, in the spirit world. That was exposed. He taught her. They made a deal or something. He taught her how to make loogies, how to do the loogie thing. And that's what she's doing to me. So, now... I lay down, and I can feel a loogie coming out of my neck here. It's a new one. Or no, in my throat. I think it came in my throat. Like, it's like a balloon. You stick it, You stick the balloon part in, and you blow it up. And it goes in your skins around your head. Then she comes inside your head, inside the balloon, and does whatever the fuck she wants. And that's how it works. Now... Sorry, I smoke when I'm talking. Helps me think. Um, and I'm not sorry. I don't care what you think. <laughs> so, I lay down to go to bed that night. Told Chris to take it. I brought in the manger. He saw the loogie right away in my head. My teeth are fucking aching. He rushes me over to the regent priest. The regent priest throw me on the bed. As soon as I relax, they're going to pull the thing out of me. So by the time about an hour goes by, me laying there with the region priest talking to them. And they start pulling it out. I don't know what the hell they do to get it out of you, but they they pull it out. And my pain went away. I slept nine hours straight. I woke up. All was over with. I go through that day. Yesterday, this is what happened. Um, crazy it just happened. Like I already forgot. Um, I went to bed last night. Oh, I know now. I go to bed last night, and the priestess is in my, the back of my head. It's like a membrane in the back of your head. She operates from there. Well, she yells at you from there, in the back of your head, right? The back, of, the back of your brain and your neck, right across. So it's like right across down here. Now she swirls around your neck, and it's like rah, 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 talking. You can watch her. You can watch her. Talking in, in spirit inside yourself. Cause it's fucking loud, and she gets real loud, louder than your voice. As I'm talking to you right now, inside your own head, that fucking shit. Whoa, I'm gonna die. So yeah, she can kill you straight up, but she. Ain't. I'm her fucking food source, right? More or less. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That's what she wants. So that's why she's doing this. Plus, she's addicted. So I'm laying down. My inner light is shining through uh, three or four chakra. The little hole. Like, you got a heart chakra. But there's like seven or more chakras within the main chakra. I got seeds in all of them chakras. So seven, because I got 25 seeds, so they're they're placed in certain spots. I guess that's just the order of things. But anyway, <coughs> my inner light shining out the one. All of a sudden, I look at it, and there's a loogie. I can, all of a sudden, I can feel the priestess pulling, uh, like a vor- like a funnel. She's pulling it, and I'm like, oh, and it's going right to my innocence, right into 
right into me. I take a look, I shake it around, move it and look at it, and it's going around my heart and my chest cavity. It comes in my little tiny heart chakra right here, which is the bigger heart chakra. And it's right here. It goes in here, opens up into a balloon, and it's got your lungs and your heart and your chest and all the things. So I show Christ. I'm in a manger. He sees it. I'm off to the region priest. They are going to pull it out tonight. This is last night, and this is what I did. This is what happened. I don't remember any of the dreams. I don't remember any of the dreams. So, I go to sleep. I show them the loogie. They go inside. They look at it. But the loogie is in my, my thorough skins. It's also wrapped around the heart pumps and things, your veins and your muscles and your ligaments. It's all, it's blown up and wrapped around in a symbiosis with them. So if they just pull it out, they're going to rip the skins that hold my spine and all my ligaments and all that shit. And it's going to hurt like a fuck. And so I'm like, guys, I don't know what the hell you're going to do, but just get her the hell out of me. And there's something else I got to tell you after this. I wake up. <coughs> I wake up. And my back is on fire. Just fire. And I look, I checked my heart chakra. I didn't even talk to anyone yet. I checked my heart chakra. It's gone. They pulled it out. And they go, well, it was wrapped in, it was wrapped in your back skin. Your your the back your back, your ethereal skins in your back. They just say skins. I gotta say ethereal to show you the separation between physical and spiritual. But anyway, my back is on fire. I'm like, oh, fuck. And they're giving me drugs. They give me, they got this IV thing. And what they did was as soon as it started, like, I woke up from the burning. I woke up because it was burning so bad. I'm like, my fucking back is burning. He goes, hold on, we'll get, the drug, we'll get you drugs. And I'm hooked up to a fucking IV, literally. And they pressed a button on the IV machine and pumped me full of drugs. And the pain went, whew, just gone. I'm like, shit, that stuff's good. <laughs> so I'm all fucking high. It's just like real life, man, in the hospital. And they go, yep. I'm like, oh, well, when you start screaming at us, we'll give you another shot. He goes, this stuff ain't cheap, you know. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So I lay there for about 15 minutes, no pain. And all of a sudden, just fire. And I'm like, and I was half asleep. And I woke up and I'm going, ah. And my skins are burning and my internal cavities burning because they, what that is, is the, it's the ethereal blood, uh, it's sort of like ectoplasm. That's the best thing I can call it's like a slimy, thick, like a wood glue. And it gets, but anyway, it burns the shit out of you. And it's all on my chest. It's on my back. They're pumping. They're, 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 they got needles, and they're pulling this ectoplasm blood stuff out of my skin. So when you tear a skin, a thorough skin, when you tear it, it bleeds. And that's what you get. And that shit hits your nerves. Man, you're on fucking fire. And that's what was happening. So they're pumping all this blood stuff out of me with syringes. And they're giving me shots for the pain. Now, you don't think, you think I'm all fucking off the wall, man. <laughs> Your day's coming. You're all going there. So you got to deal with it. If you got problems, deal with it here. Or fucking don't die and you'll fucking see it all for yourself. Don't fucking matter to me any. Either way. So that's what I did till the fucking pain was gone. Which I just woke up at five thirty and the pain was gone. This started at noon or midnight. Uh after the hockey game. I played a video game for an hour, screwed around or something, then went to bed. So that was my night.
And the thing was, she's getting charged for this one because the, the loogie went right into my innocence, right into my innocence. When I grabbed the link, the, the, the loogie, it's like a, it looked like a, a funnel going, going out. When I grabbed it and pulled on it, she started screaming, no, 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 don't take it, don't take it, don't take that out. And I'm not even aware of the region priest, and I'm telling them, I'm going to get this shit out of me, man. She's fucking me up. So now my heart is better. She's not ciphering, sucking, sucking off the innocence. Got rid of that little lady. Now, before I went into that, as soon as I laid down last night, Christ was giving me a speech, or what do they call it? His layout. And what he does is he rattles off what he's done, what what he's done to me, and what he's going to do. So he did that for like five minutes. Just He's like recording it for records. Then he, uh, he goes, Rich, you got some choices to make. And I'm like, what? Basically, and he goes... We, all the Christs are here that that are whatever he got and he goes he goes we're going to judge if we leave you and not deal with you until you're in critical condition on things or we're not going to deal with the priestess anymore or we are going to fulfill separating getting the secrets in you and separating, he goes. We're gonna we're gonna vote on it. All the Christ's are getting together, and we're gonna vote on it. Do we keep on separating you and the priestess, or we just let you go back to normal sin illusion life? And I go, okay. Well, do what you gotta do, man. So they voted, and they said continue. They wanted to continue, and he goes, we're gonna continue now. He goes, you got more secrets. He goes, we gotta we gotta investigate these secrets and these secrets will reveal the secrets are you were you and the priestess in the Daniel Boone life have we think two you were terrorized two times and those are two of the secrets and you got more you got like three or four but he goes two of those you were both terrorized and tortured, yeah, tortured. He goes, you were both tortured, and that's why you're so close with each other. And now it's gone bad, and we got to separate. And he goes, and I go, well, I know the one about the dream I was in it was me, the priestess, and some other people in, a, in in the dream. We were in a container, and the guy inside the container freed us, so it was like a jail cell. And she was totally gone. And I grabbed her and carried her out of this jail cell. And we both escaped. And we were really happy that that guy, he got us out. But in the dream, it was a container, like a container ship. And this was in the Daniel Boone past life. Or even in the illusion. I don't know. After we died from that life, more things happened. And he goes, yeah, well, we ain't even got the answers to that. And he goes, we got to investigate all these things. And we come to the conclusion, you ain't going to have a normal life. Priestess has gone crazy. You ain't going to have a normal life until you get all this out of here. And I'm like, fuck. And he goes, yeah. So we got to reveal the secrets. The secrets will lead to releasing both of you. I'm like, okay, do it. Right? Another fucking six months of this shit? Why not? You know? And I, my reasoning in my head was, well, as soon as the priest is gone, another guy is going to come in, and I'm going to have another six months fighting with him. So might as well stick with the enemy you know, right? We're making a lot of progress. So anyway, and he goes, now, nah, I got, he, goes, he goes, we decided to do that. And we can solve, we, he goes, I can, I can put you and there were some, a couple more things, issues with the priestess, but I forgot what they were. Then he came and he said, Chris said, okay, you got to decide. He goes, we can solve your 
your problems in your meathead, your your not fears, not your problems you have. The problems you have and living with in reality. And I go, you can? Yeah, really? You gonna try that? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, we can fix it up with lessons and stuff. We got all the stuff to fix you with your issues. He goes, I just gotta check your issues out, find out what they are, and start healing. I'm like, well, all right, do it. Fuck, I ain't going nowhere, right? And I go, oh, am I getting a new crazy? And he goes, yeah, but it's going to be the same program. He's going to take over where I left off. Or the old Christ might come back. And he was a good guy. I, mean, I shot him in the forehead, but he got over it. Well, 18 dreams later. Fuck. So if you shoot a Christ in the forehead with a gun, you got a shitload of lesson dreams coming before you even allow back into St. Lucian. Just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> so if you're going to shoot a crazy in the head, make sure it's really good. For me, it was a sex dream. I told him, no sex dreams. He gave me a sex dream. I freaked the fuck. I got PTSD. Sex equals fucking freak out and shoot somebody. So, and, and what it all comes down to, not in this reality. I'm fucking normal, as far as I'm concerned, in this reality, more or less. But when I go to the spirit world, I go to another level where I get fucking, where I have been raped by ex-Jesus Christ. Now, in order to become with a Jesus Christ, you got to submit your innocence. Everything. Well, these Jesus Christ in my past raped the fucking shit out of the meat bag and thought they could get away with it. But I know better. I know what Jesus Christ and natural law, Christ consciousness is. You can't fucking do that shit. So I got investigations going and 17 of them are in prison in the illusion in jail. The jail is not in St. Lucian. The jail is in the illusion. They built a building in the illusion, the astral world. And that's where they are. Just to let you know. So is a great big room in the illusion. Just like St. Illusion. 25 million people in it. All living in happy la la land. Now, the thing is, what the hell was I talking about? <laughs> it fucking escaped me. <laughs> I totally got it. See, I get sidetracked, man. I just fucking lose the main, the main, what I was talking about. Anyway, he's going to give me these. So, like, my problem is I come from living in the light, in the light up there on 13 and above. I'm up on for 15, 16 where I live when I'm dead and I come here and everybody's fucking nuts. The police are fucking nuts. Every, everybody's a slave. Everybody's taking shit from politics. Fake fucking COVID. Fake fucking police. Fake fucking world. Fake fucking politicians. Everybody's wearing a diaper on their goddamn face over a fucking PSYOP. And you don't even know what the fuck is going on. That's where I live. I don't even want to be here. There's no reason for me to be here. The only reason I'm here is for to fucking take pictures of birds. Really? Um, but I'm stuck here until I die. So well, here I am. <laughs> That's a problem. Other things. My CE5, UFOs. I want to go research unknown animals, stuff like that. That's all I'm going That's why, that's what I'm interested in here. That's all it is. I'm a paranormal type of guy, man. That's all I want to do. But I got to do my taxes. Another bullshit. It's just bullshit. Taxes is just a big fucking mafia ripoff. That's all it is. Some, so many fucking numbers, you don't even know what the fuck's going on. But you lose money in the end. Oh, they say you get money back, but it's just another scam. Fucking taxes. Fuck. 
Uh, and this is where this is where I live. Just nonsense, a world of bullshit, run by fucking pedophiles. Anyway. There you go. And it is kind of disheartening, but I get up in a day and I'm pretty good. Do my thing. And I I ain't slaving myself for a fucking menial fucking job. You know? I don't give a fuck. I don't mind working. I don't mind doing something constructive. Something my fucking heart will be into with other people doing things. But... Working at Chrysler's? Fuck off. You gotta be out of your fucking mind. You gotta pay me a fucking million an hour. And it still won't be enough. So, how you wanna live your life and the conditions that brought you to where you are, and you didn't know, but now you do, that's where I'm at. Good, bad, and different, whatever. So, that's my update. <laughs> I'd rather do what I want to do, have a little bit of money, enjoy the rest of my life best I can here on the fucking earth. I ain't justifying it. I'm just telling you. I came to terms with it. I want to win the fucking lottery like I did back in the 2003 or no, 19, whatever, fucking Vancouver. But I actually want to play this time. <laughs> so it's a different goddamn ball game. But <clears throat> stuff like that. That's what I want to do, man. I want to fulfill my fucking dreams. I did a lot. A lot of cool stuff. That blows my mind that I actually did it. But I did it. Watch my videos for that shit. I ain't going to no fucking war. I ain't being a goddamn cop. I ain't being a soldier. For a fucking fake society with fake politicians. Ain't gonna happen. Just to die and... Was that all fake, crazy? Yep. That's why they call it the illusion. So fuck it. I'm solid with it. I'll go live in the fucking woods. Survive just fucking fine. Build myself a fucking cabin. Toilet, water, fucking food. Everything I need. Well, I have no one to talk to, but <laughs> whatever. All right, guys, so I got to get the hell out of here. Later. <laughs>